Alright, good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, going down the rabbit hole of showing you guys how to troubleshoot sensors. We're going to look at a P018 engine coolant temperature sensor circuit, high voltage. Now if you did the low voltage one, you will repeat some of that test to determine whether or not the sensor is faulty or not. In this video, we're going to, I'm going to show you what to look for in the plug and to break it down all simple. To keep it short and dirty. To keep this quick and dirty, the yellow wire is going to be my 5 volt. The other wire, which could be gray or tan, will be my sensor ground. So I'm going to put my jumpers in there. So this test right here, I got my back probes in there and I got my fusible jumper there. And I'm going to connect it and look at the data. So the purpose of this is to determine whether or not you have an issue with the ground or an issue with the five volts. And from this point on, then you can go forward and troubleshoot. So now what this test is going to do, of course, you kind of seen the pattern. We're going to test these two wires and we should see five volts. Now, of course, when we did the test, when we jumpered them, we verified that there's some continuity, but we could have some high resistance. So if we didn't see five volts, you want to perhaps try different ground. So I got, let me get my meter light up again. I'm gonna try good ground on the frame somewhere. So I got five volts. So I know at this point in time that if I got five volts, but still not working, there could be a ground issue. If I don't have five volts, I would have to trace that wire back. So if you have these sheets right there, the yellow wire corresponds to number 74 on the blue plug. So you wanna hook up your multimeter to the yellow wire and then pin out 74, check the resistance level, repair if needed, if it's short at the ground, our resistance is high. And the gray one is reference to number 63 on the blue plug, engine coolant temperature sensor ground. Same thing, you either want to, if you don't have a ground, you want to maybe jump a ground from the frame to there, verify that it works, check this back to the PCM, trace the wire, try to find the break. These, these issues could be anything, if it's intermittent, chafing in the wiring harness, we talked about this before. That's what all these tests are about. You're going to see the same pattern over and over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you in the next one.